Welcome to Small Potatoes, a show where we discuss the inconsequential tidbits of life. Remember, it's all fun and games until someone cares. They don't, so it's all fun and games. We're rolling. So here's the chain of events. Hello. We all get together. That's not our intro. Yeah, sing the theme song. We the theme song. It's okay, I'll say something first. Yeah, Shit, please. you guys are just gonna wait forever? Or you want to listen you to my song? The music's oh, so loud for so long. What do you mean for so long? I was waiting for someone to talk. Jeez. Right, no, intro the I know. I gotta show, do then. click all the intro buttons. The show, then. No, I gotta click all the buttons. Are you gonna bitch? Or are you gonna intro the show? You know when you're gonna turn it down. Yeah, so why would not, I talk? Don't I don't know when. Well, normally, when someone starts talking it. and the volume goes down because no. I edit it in post. But now I can do it during the middle and no one's talking. Hey, if I talk. While the music's playing, no one can hear me. Yeah, so no, why they would can. I talk? They literally because no, I, I, I adjust it with the volume. Welcome to the show. It's called Small Potatoes. We're drinking Capri Sun <laughs> alcohol. We're drinking the tastiest wine in America, <laughs> and it, I bought it from Target. You bought so this. I yeah. bought this uh, this magic wine. It tastes like peaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Who Pacific knew they made cooler. Peach <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. It tastes like Capri Sun. It's really good though. It looks so like if, water, so it kind of looks like Capri Sun. So if you're at home and you're also drinking wine, cheers, brother. Cheers to you. Cheers, Thanks. sis. Cheers, sis. Cheers, cheers, my friends. So hey. Hey. All right. Should I start? Yeah. Well, With a if, potato? If you, you must. Okay. Yeah. Um, how about this? There's hand sanitizer everywhere nowadays. Mm-hmm. For a valid reason, I'd say. Sure. But some places seem to be uh, being a little frugal with their hand sanitizer and buying the cheapest tequila they can find. <laughs> yes, tequila. Because sometimes I will put a little squirt in my hand and feel grosser afterwards than the germs that were like in my head. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What is... I think they're on your hand. Like I'm like, Ugh, I've touched a lot of things in that store. Let me just... Yeah. Squirt some hand sanitizer. Mm-hmm. Oh, now I feel disgusting. Now I need a shower after that squirt of, of fucking well, lighter fluid. Here's the thing, especially what you described, the cheap tequila. It like brings back these flashbacks mm-hmm. of, you know, tequila shots and how like disgusting you feel afterwards. Well, me personally. Yeah, and short so what, term afterwards. Long term afterwards, not so gross. Great. But like, you know, yeah, as soon as I put it on my hands and it's just like that smell, I'm like, ugh. Like, my stomach immediately starts hurting. I immediately feel like I need to throw up. And it leaves this, like, sticky residue forever. And therefore. And there's also, mm-hmm. it's so liquidy that, like, like I want, like, a Purell kind of consistency where I can control where the glob is going. But when it's pure liquid and it's just dripping down my arm because it just, like, it, it's flowing like water. And now, now my whole arm smells and, like, smells like tequila and is sticky. I would have rather just gotten a disease you know what's right. <laughs> so weird is that it's tequila like it's a traceable smell like yeah, you're immediately like this is the same as what i <laughs> like i'd understand if it, ta- if it smelled like like rubbing alcohol or something sure yeah but, but it, it smells like it smells it, like jose cuervo 100 percent. what yeah. the fuck <laughs> or like margaritaville i think it's more like a cheaper <laughs> type of tequila it's kroger brand tequila <laughs> <laughs> it's so potent and it's like, you know, we have a hand sanitizer at work that's an automatic dispenser mm-hmm. that spits out the tequila one. And I'm literally worried that my boss is going to be like, go home. Just go home. You're drunk. Go home. You're you can drunk, smell it Anthony. on you. You've been stumbling this whole <laughs> exactly. shift. I'm just staying sanitized. <laughs> just being clean and safe in these so, trying times. The small potato is tequila hand sanitizer? It's not even the it's tequila just- part. It's the I feel gross now. It, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I feel like I, w- I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I hadn't gotten that little squirt. It, it feels like I, the, the hand sanitizer that feels like water with like a little bit of syrup in it. So it's like just yeah. sticky and it yeah. just, it's, it's so just runny. Sticky I get runny. exactly what you yeah. mean. Yeah. And now my whole forearm is sticky and, and I've experienced this a lot with um, the foam hand sanitizer. Too. Yeah. I hate that the shit foam. does not rub like, in. Give me the glob. Yeah. The freaking like. <laughs> 
Yeah. That's what I want. want like I don't want soapy. like a, I do not want foam hand mm-hmm. sanitizer. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Like when you, when you squeeze a little Purell into your palm, you can oh, like yeah. control the glob. Yes. It's like a little bowl and you're like, okay, you're Unless, there. And you sift it Unless around. You sift it around and you're like, all right, how much is it? And if there's too much, you can like get rid of it a little there's bit. There's a real but small potato. But when it's full liquid and it's just pouring through your fingertips or when you your have, finger like webs. No, but when you have the Purell one, that shit, if you do too much or someone pours the too much in your hand, you like try to spill it into your next hand and then you're like, someone else takes some. Right. You spill I it into their that. hand yeah. and it just drips on your pants. And it's, it's all just, good though. Like you sure. can solve the problem passing, quicker than… Passing hand sanitizer around. Not by squeezing it, but by Which like using it over. Too much. <laughs> well, like today, it today I experienced the thing I'm talking about and I literally had to like, like as, if my, as if I had just washed my hands and there were no paper towels, I had to like fling my hands around me, yeah. whip it off into the floor and I was like, this is absurd. This is absurd. I, I need to wash my hands now after that sanitizer. I need to go home and wash my hands. And I did. And ugh, what an awful experience. I'd rather get COVID. <laughs> this reminds me, I, I used to work at um, an undisclosed fast food restaurant with mm-hmm. Bible verses on their cups. Mm-hmm. And um, oh, yeah, I support them every I would, day. Every, almost every day. Oh, me goodness. too. And I would wash my hands. And then I would accidentally dry them on my apron. That's a big no-no. And literally, as soon as I my uh, I was being watched so carefully, as soon as I touched my apron, it was like, "Wash your hands." It was like, "Oh fuck!" And like go all the way back and like, have to uh, yeah, I had learn I had a manager not to do it. I had a manager like tell me to wash my hands every time I like touched my hair or like scratched my face. Here's the thing: or did anything about basically touched my body at all? Mm-hmm. You'd be like, "You you need to wash your hands now." Here's the thing. <sighs> Both I can of you are food. dirty. I can't even handle the food. I'm a cashier. <laughs> Both of you are very dirty. And while I think that's tough, like I literally heard you say that, and I was like, "Damn, like that sucks." But then I'm like, if I watched you touch my food, hell no. <laughs> hell, wash your fucking hands. Get that. Get that tequila on your hands. Okay, but what fast and food worker is like? I want to see you pouring Margaritaville just directly <laughs> onto your hands, into your pores. What fast food worker is directly touching the food? You're not. Dude, like, like, I feel like so many. So many, so many are. What? Behind closed doors, yeah. I feel like so many. So many are. I wasn't because as yeah, as a cashier, you're not doing anything besides like giving people drinks. And handing, even then. You're handing over disgusting cash back and forth. Yeah. That, not, he, and no one cares about and that. And no one says, hey, wash no your hands right now. No one's talking about how gross cash After is. After I touch like a $20 bill that's oh, like super wet. crinkly and a little damp. If, any, if anyone's curious if it actually is like if you will get a dirty bill sometimes, uh, we have a UV reader like for like at my… For cum? At my, this <laughs> job. It's literally a cum detector. For cum on the dollar um, bills. I used to work… Uh, for a yeah, I'm done with my story. <laughs> undisclosed. I'm so done with my story. You're in the middle of a story. Like, just kind of like literally in the middle of a story. All right, go ahead. And I put it in, and when I put my hand in to the reader, the hundred dollar bill, I found this hundred dollar bill just coated in some sort of shiny stuff, and my hands were direct. Were just just dripping in this shiny stuff when I touched the bill. Mm. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And I did wash my hands after, but it yeah. was my choice. But no only, one told me. Only that one dollar. Only that one twenty dollar bill. Every other bill you handled, you're like, it's probably clean. yeah, it's probably fine. <laughs> it's probably fine. Whatever. But go ahead. I actually am done telling the story. You should go ahead. Oh, okay, because I wasn't sure. Because you take so many pauses and you take such a long time to disclose details. What do you mean? I just it's, told the story. Why do you mean? He was literally like in the middle of the story, and it was like I know, the flow but a funny anecdote came to my head. And I kind of stopped listening <laughs> to what you guys were saying, and I just. Jeez. Needed to say what I needed to say. Just so you know, you're the only one who thinks that. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys aren't thinking of the anecdote that I'm thinking of. Sure. You don't, I'm about to tell you. You don't even know. Go ahead. Is. Yeah. So now it's not going to live up to expectations. I used to work be for an funny. undisclosed delivery service. And I once delivered to these two bros in their backyard. They were like, come to the backyard. We're hanging out. And they were, uh, you know, drinking brewskis, uh, playing by the pool. And they're like, oh my God, we don't have the, we don't have the cash. Hey, uh, Trent, you need to go inside and grab that cash. And they come out, they, they bought like $150 worth of product. And they came out with wads of wet ones. So gross. And they're like, look, we're going to be honest with you. These came directly from a strip club in Dallas, Texas. 
and this is all we have, so I'm sorry, but like we will help we'll help you count. But here you go. And the three of us sat there on their <laughs> back porch and counted these wet, crinkly dollar bills. <laughs> Now, now, question: Were were these men the strippers that earned this money? No, no, I think they were patrons. They were for sure patrons. And so they stole this money. Yeah, they were like these have been inside women. So they wait. They took money. They just took money. I don't really know. Like that's what I was confused about. I was like, did you guys people? tip and then get it back, or like was this like change from the dispatch? I don't really understand. Oh, All I know is that like the money went from a from a skeevy guy to a stripper into their skeevy hands, into my working class hands. And uh, you bet your bottom dollar I Purell the fuck out of my hands <laughs> after that. I don't like any part of that story, only because I feel I like lived it. these men just stole. stole yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's fucking rude. Unless they're strippers. Unless they're they were strippers, good looking guys. Which like, they, it's not impossible. Yeah. Okay. What? I'm moving on. Okay. It's fine. We were done. Yeah, so that's why I said okay. Okay. Go for it. Commercial well, break. All right then. <laughs> okay, so look, this is this is I know we've talked about kind of like we've talked about grapes before, but this is something different about grapes. Okay, go. Because I was eating grapes. I was eating <laughs> delicious fucking grapes. Is there any other kind? And they and they, they might as well have been from yes. Trader Joe's, but they were from Costco this time. And these grapes were like fucking hard and round and Fat, crispy, like crispy, <sighs> like like a mm. like 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 I'm eating crisps, but grape flavored, but real life grape flavored. Anyways, yeah, there's this like thing that has always happened to me when when I eat grapes, and it happens to everybody, and it's crazy how this happens. But you you always grab like a branch of grapes, put in a bowl or whatever, however you eat the grapes, but you're just eating them, you're grabbing them, and they're just so yummy. And then you start to get to the bottom of the bowl, and you're like, still so good. And then as you look down, you start to notice a couple of the ugly grapes mm-hmm. are yeah. starting to show. Yeah. And you're like, that's so weird how it's like at the end is when you see the gross grapes. Like not like the beginning. You're like, hell yeah, these were a good batch. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you get down to the bottom and you're like, fuck. Ew. That's an ugly one. And yeah. then you yeah. bruise and eat brown. Those, mm-hmm. Don't eat them. You eat around them. But then there's like four left like and you're kind of like. flesh. Yeah. And you're kind of like sitting there and you're like, am I hungry still and like you like take and then like the longer they sit in that bowl when you haven't eaten them and they're they're all the ones left the more likely you are to be like all right this one's okay i guess and i'll eat this one you rationalize yeah, like you this rational. one it's not as bad as i first thought it was this one passes <laughs> it's not my favorite it wasn't the desperate. beginning and then like, you kind of go further and you're like well there's only two left but this one definitely had a worm inside of it. Should I do it? It's like when you're at a bar and you, you, you just, you're just just trying to get lucky tonight. That's all you want. Mm-hmm. Are you talking you about- start the evening with high standards. Yeah. Talking to some, 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 some hotties. Are you talking about capital H hot or lowercase? Because I, I just don't understand um, what you're I, saying. If, I feel like in the, context, in the context of a bar, we're talking lowercase. Okay. Um, so you don't want to fuck lowercase? I don't remember. You might. You. <laughs> you, you do. Yes, you do want to fuck lowercase. You sometimes want to fuck uppercase, but not necessarily. And there is overlap. Trevor's talking about just lowercase is your perf- personal. Okay, preference. for for those of yeah, for those of you who aren't familiar, an uppercase H hot person is like you like hot by certain standards, like. They're 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 conventionally hot, but lowercase h hot is just like uh, I'm into you. So at the bar, it's not the point. That's not even. Uh, I hate you. It's not the point of what I was saying. I mean, I said it, but derailed. we were both. It was a it was a pretty yeah. decent <laughs> analogy that you guys fucking derailed. Um, and you're at the bar. You start the evening talking to some hotties. The night goes on. You haven't really uh, found your a hottie to take you home. And, sure. you know, your, your standards start to lower once the bar starts clearing out. I'm like, okay, there's only a couple people left. I'm still hungry for grapes, but there's only these, these rejects. All right, I guess I'll You're take also the prettiest of reject. the rejects. Yeah, I'm a reject too. I'm an ugly grape as well, obviously. Okay. I'm at the bar late. I'm just making sure that we all understand. Yeah. No, yeah. Everyone, but including you in this scenario. That bar is a bowl grape. of grapes. And the wrinkly ones are the rejects. 
But you eat. Are you going but, to an but, old folks home? But you <laughs> ate the wrinkly <laughs> ones. You <laughs> ate the. This analogy is falling apart. No, the grapes are wrinkly. The people are ugly. <laughs> okay. And when you're saying bar, you mean you're going to a place with beverages, or the bar is raising and lowering. Both. <laughs> okay. Nice. We're on the same page. Yeah. All right. Um, I was waiting for you to make some sort Speaking of, of grapes, reference. Speaking of grapes, um, <laughs> small potato about grapes. When you when you wanna when you wanna be like a like a like a Greek king and mm-hmm. like eat the grapes from above you, it never fucking works. You always get a little stem in your mouth. You know, you can't just like eat a oh, grape yeah. off the off the off the uh, what is well, it a bunch? Oh, a, is it a bunch of grapes? Is it a branch. vine? A bunch. A branch. bunch. I think a bunch sounds right. Yeah. I don't think it's a branch. Every time you try to bite a grape off the bunch, you get a little stem. And it's, how do they do it in movies? I don't know. Are how you does, feeding grapes to yourself? Sometimes you like to you eat it off the branch. for fun? Like, you I just, uh, you pretend now. like your servant is like lifting it over your head, but it's really just you. And you pretend yeah, you're I'm, like I'm, being like fanned by palm fronds on a golden couch. I'm sorry. A, are you doing this like alone by yourself? There could be people there. I'm not are like there embarrassed people around. to like, like, is pretend this to like be a, a king. Is this is like a bit that you're doing. If you're doing this as a bit, I get it. If I you're do doing bits this for by people, yourself, I do bits for myself. Mind no, your own fucking business, Spencer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, he probably ate grapes. Surprisingly, I person. do agree with Trevor. He doesn't want to, too. Um, I don't really want to, but it's true. Like, you just want to eat a grape sometimes off a branch. Just kind of like a fucking god. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Like Dionysus. I've just, I've just never done it to myself before. I've been fed grapes, like, from above. That's oh, okay. As a king. Cool. Thank and how you. is that like? And it feels fucking Every glorious. time you get your stemless? Yeah. What? And, Perfect. I don't know. I have like you have no to like experience. do like acrobatics with your teeth in yeah, order to pull like it out. avoid yeah. the stem. It's, it's a weird. It's about in. it's about like sucking with your mouth. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Show us. Like get, Wait, show us exactly. You, you get around the yeah. grape with your mouth and like that. Okay. I don't Got know it. why you need to be so close to Trevor's face when you do that, but. Yeah, that was well, a, little, it, it just, a little much. So he understands. Oh, okay. He was obviously confused. And I, didn't he needed, hate, I didn't hate it. He needed to see the tongue movement that I was doing. Yeah, we're in the same room. I can see you. You don't have to like get up in my space. Don't no, you wear glasses? Fine. You're not wearing glasses right now. So I figured you usually do. So I needed to get like No, I'm up a Greek close. god. I have perfect vision. Perfect vision. <laughs> Weren't you listening? The Greek gods were not perfect, Anthony, Trevor. do you have a small potato? I literally just... Spencer, just do you have it. a small potato? I, I just wanted you to stop talking. So I went to him. <laughs> <laughs> but it was back to but you. It's your turn. So back to, back to you, Spencer. God. Okay. Keeping on our our bar theme. Ooh. Nice. Um. I Which just one? went. I just went to a bar recently. Um. It's called the Bungalow. It's called the Bungalow in oh, Huntington. Did you get a fucking Long Island? No, I Dude, was driving and I got a bottle service rose. I'm telling you, their Long Islands are. Insane. Guys, Anthony just discovered Long Island iced teas and he's just recommending them to everyone. No, 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 no. Like, we know with, about the drink. Like, yes. everyone, it's a very it's common, a very, very very common, common drink. drink. Have you heard of this rum and coke thing? <laughs> God, it's not rum and coke. Jeez, no, there's so many more co- things involved. Oh, there's okay. gin. There's <laughs> you realize you're a bartender. And there's rum. Learned all the fun drinks. Okay, so, well, four other people were there that also got Long Islands that were like, damn, this is the best Long Island I've ever had. All right, fair enough. Anyways, go ahead. Anyway, so I was at this bar, um, and this is the first time I've been to like a bar bar post vaccination. You know, it's crazy, right? And it was wild, totally. And the wild part was, and I don't know if this is just like the new twenty one year olds or maybe like nineteen year olds that are faking twenty one. You know, that are coming into the bars. It's inevitable. But like every single person there, besides like the group that I was with, was dressed as if. They were at Coachella yeah. or some music Everyone's festival. Stoked. It was the most insane. Like this girl had a full on like disco, like mirrors on mm. her um, conductor hat, wearing wow. like a cape and like one of those like onesies where it, like rides up your full ass, you know, and like yeah. barely goes over your, the titties. Sure. And then uh, boys were wearing like their shimmery button up shirts or like a little bit like see through button up shirts like or whatever. Like light strips for suspenders. Yeah. With like their, yeah. And then their headbands too. Sure. It was just like the most Coachella music, music festival esque atmosphere. Right. And then there was me and my friends who are all just like dressed to go to a bar. So you want to know the is, <laughs> is that, I planned on going to get food the night that I went to that same bar you went to. And I was just like, hey, I'm going to get some dinner, some like grilled cheese or something. 
showed up at this bar, not planning on it, wearing not even something that you would go out in. So I felt so fucking uncomfortable. It was <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> but then I, it was almost like, because I did like the Adam Sandler thing where they're like, this guy, he doesn't need He's to look so shitty. so cool. But he, he intentionally looks shitty. Yeah. So people were like, were like <laughs> this damn. Guy's rich. I was in the bathroom peeing. People were like looking at me. <laughs> they're like, dude, like, dude what's where, up? Where'd you, you get that? So cool. Like uh, my middle school gym? <laughs> <laughs> it was just free. They, handed, they were handing them out. <laughs> Super vintage, dude. Where'd you thrift that? Um, no, I think it's everyone has been building up these cool outfits for a year. And they had nowhere to display them. Nowhere to show off their, their new fits. Everyone's doing a lot of online shopping when they're bored at home for a long ass time, and they had nowhere to nowhere to put it. In, oh, in the like you know, glitter glitter was everywhere. The yeah. the gem, the like the rhinestones that oh, glue yeah. to your face. Oh yeah, and like is that just going to be the new thing? Like in the roaring twenties that we're entering, is it just going to be like go all out all the time? Yeah, dude. Yeah, roaring twenties. Totally. Or in 20s. We're living the Great Gatsby movie, <laughs> like, but like the new one, just that vibe. I don't. I'm not the one of the ones that die though. That's not me. I'll die. Yeah, I'll die. That's I'm fine. totally fine right, with that. Be my people will like love Daisy's? me. Daisy. Yeah, I was right. gonna say Denise, but yeah, it's Daisy. Didn't, they would. That would it's not it. Yeah. Daisy. <laughs> Did anybody get that joke? Anybody um, you're in the oh, across the airwaves get that? Is that a 2001? robot joke? Yeah. 2001 joke. Yeah. It's a film, just a cinema film. I love cinema. I like movies. I like it when they film them on film. Do you have a small potato? Uh, sure. How about when you're in a store, like a like a Home Depot or a Lowe's, and you walk in and you're like hardware store. Yeah. Specifically, so like well, not no, like a, it's not, not about like hardware target. stores. It's just like a, any store that's large and has like a lot of employees walking and around. In charge like Got Costco, it. like a Target Costco. maybe or a Costco. Yeah. Okay. And you're like, I know what I need. It's all good. Like I see all these all these employees walking around, but I don't need their help. I, I'm doing what I'm doing. And then you start looking around. You're like, oh fuck, I can't find what I'm looking for. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll give it a second. I'll keep looking. Okay, you know what? No, I'm definitely going to need some help from someone. I'm, I'm going to have to ask someone in, a, in an orange, orange apron. And they're all playing hide and seek. <laughs> <laughs> they're all immediately busy. Like they were surrounding me when I first walked in. And there were, I had so many options of people yeah. to ask. And now that I need some help finding this uh, a snake drain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Poof. Gone. All gone. Yeah. I'm in the plumbing section looking like an idiot. <laughs> Where the fuck are these things? <laughs> what were you looking for? A snake, a snake drain. drain. Wow. Yeah. And I was standing in the plumbing Drain's aisle like, going, where the fuck are these things? You know and so no one was there. To, I walked to the main aisle. Like, the ma- like you know, yeah, there's like a main entry, street. Yeah. yeah. And there's like side streets. I walked into the main street aisle and <laughs> nobody. I was by the doors. This like, you know where so the doors funny. are at Home Depot? Like in the middle of the store. The only, no person, the only person that is there is like someone at a cash register. And you're like, I don't want to bother Right. The cash register person. Yeah. <laughs> the cashier. Dude, it's crazy. Like, what's so funny is that my small, my next small potato was going to be not even like a shade different than what you just said. <laughs> like, it was the exact same small potato. It's weird. Did you like hack my phone? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually on your iCloud. Dude. So, get this. Doesn't even have to be a big store. I go in. I walk in. I have some sort of issue with pain recently. Not going to dox myself and let you guys all know what's wrong with me. Hey, but are you okay? I'm totally fine now you don't, because I found what I was looking for. You don't look okay. Well, I don't. Well, I he's say, oxied I out. That's say why. I look okay. <laughs> he's I done a lot of painkillers okay. and he is having a great time I now. I say I feel okay. So I go into a CVS and apparently CVS changed their their whole store format. Instead of like selling like, you know, a combination of things, you know, drugs with like snacks and like a little cold (laughs) freezer aisle, it just is 100% drugs now. Like every fucking aisle is pain relievers. The drugstore. It's crazy though. Like no chips, no batteries. Was it a small CVS? Like no. They don't sell those like scrunchy t-shirts stuff? No, yeah. (laughs) No candy. And so- I go in there and I'm like, oh fuck, this is this is ridiculous. But at first second, I'll be like, I'll take my time. I'll like, I'll not ask someone immediately. And guess what? They were all around. 
mm. practically There's huddled around one, me. like stalking a shelf near you. Yep. And I finally go to look and I'm like, damn, I'm humbled <laughs> that I can't find this at all. Like not even, I'm not even, I'm like so dumb that I can't find this. Can't find Tylenol. <laughs> as soon as I like stand back up, look over the aisles and peer over them, not a single person. <laughs> it's like, you just like see like a paper just like falling to the ground <laughs> and the store is like closed and just the lights are off and no one's home. And it took... Probably 30 minutes to find one thing that I was looking for. Right. Because I couldn't find anybody. Yeah. Nobody in the pharmacy, too. They're all hiding behind the aisles going, who's this fucking idiot? <laughs> <laughs> he's looking for me. No, he's not going to find We tell him it's aisle seven. He has, to, he has to count to 30 before he can start looking. <laughs> I've once, so I don't know, at CVS, they have like a button for like to call for the condoms. Oh, oh that's funny. Yeah, it's like locked away. I didn't need condoms at the time, but I needed help and I could not find anybody Mm -hmm. and so i just like was like okay i'm just gonna sit here and they'll find me and took them like 20 minutes when you press the condom (laughs) i I pressed the condom button to call them and it took them like okay probably like five minutes but like in the store it was like 20 minutes you do like a few laps in the store in five minutes waiting for the person to like come and open the condom thing for me and i was like i don't even need condoms i need you to come over here where the fuck is this thing funny would it be just to be like when that button is pressed, it's just like over the intercom. It's like assistance is needed for condoms. This guy needs condoms. This guy. <laughs> this guy needs fucks condoms. They look at the camera. Oh, this guy wearing a yellow shirt, brown hair, <laughs> needs condoms. Okay, it's really funny that you said condoms because one time I was buying condoms in this in the same exact small potato I'm talking about. Kind of happened where I'm like, oh fuck, okay. Do they have condoms? Because like a lot of places just don't do. They just don't sell condoms. You don't like, want to ask. They're not about you condoms. You don't want to <laughs> ask. And so I was like in my head, I'm like rehearsing. Like, okay, okay. If I do end up asking someone, do I say like condoms? Do I say contraception to be a little <laughs> like classier? <laughs> like what is there? Is there like do you have birth control you items? Do you have contraception? Birth control items. And then I found the condoms and it was fine. But like I was, re- I was so like I was sweating, <laughs> rehearsing, rehearsing in my head. Like, okay, what, 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 what's the right term for this? Because I don't want them to. With a loudspeaker, you know. You're just we need s- Trevor Davis needs condoms. This guy needs rubber. <laughs> you're just trying so hard to like say something right, and you're like, fuck. You know what? Fuck. I'm just trying to fuck, dude. Just wanna- <laughs> and he's like, fuck. You know, this is a CVS. If you're trying to go to Trader Joe's, it's across <laughs> the street. Across the street. <laughs> Ironically enough, they don't have condoms at Trader Joe's, and that's dangerous, and that's on them. That's going to lead to a lot of un- unwanted pregnancies. Of- <laughs> Lots of unwanted pregnancies happen at Trader Joe's. Just randomly meeting somebody in line and being like, Hello. Of course. Hello. Yeah. Have, you, have you? You've tried their medium salsa? It's usually an employee. Right. Oh, of course. They'll just, they just give you those, 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 those Trader Joe's employee eyes and you fall in love. Where they're just pure pupil. Yeah. They ask like some. <laughs> I don't think it's an accident. They ask I don't think it's an unwanted question. pregnancy. I think you want, like, I that's do. immediately like, I, I, I want I, that yeah. pregnancy that's right now. That's their corporate business level strategy right there. That's how they get new employees, shotgun weddings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. It's just so funny that that was your small potato because, like, that was mine. It's great. It was just like, we had some more weeks. I will say there is a moment. I don't know if it's like the way I was specifically raised, but like some people are so much more like open to just asking someone. But like I do take a second where I'm like, I'm going to try at least first to be on my own and do this myself. Because sometimes I ask dumb questions. So sometimes if I ask like, hey, where are the chips? And the guy's like, in front of you. <laughs> I don't want to ask that stupid question. Yeah. So that's, I'm like, I'm going to search. That's how I felt in the plumbing aisle. I'm like, I'm in the plumbing aisle. <laughs> they have to be here somewhere. It's here. Yeah. So there is a moment of time where you're like, I'm not going to do it, not going to do it, not going to do it. But then you're taking too much time and you're like, I could have already found it by now. I do need to go ask someone. And then they're gone. I feel like this happens to us all. And when you do find someone, they run past you. They're sprinting somewhere else. You're like, oh, excuse me. Oh, fuck. It's comforting okay, knowing one. that we've all experienced this. <laughs> yeah. It's almost it's... like that's what this show's about. Oh. oh. All right. You so have I a got... button for that. Uh... You got to use the buttons more. We bought this. Thank you, Spencer. I got it. We bought this fancy pad thing with all these buttons. And Anthony's not pressing the buttons. He wanted to be in front of the thing. He's, he's, he's like, I want control of, of the board. You, you said I these buttons don't work buttons. with your computer when you're trying to fix this. Don't tell them that. It's behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so is it 
mine then, or we had like the same small potato? Uh, like it was it you was go. mine. You like you hopped no, onto you, it. No, you did like sure. a tangent one, so you can count that it. Whatever, I don't care. Up on it. Decide amongst yourselves. Me? Okay, no, I'll go. Um, I've definitely done the most. I mean, like, I've got unlimited amounts of knowledge just to share. Do you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> hey, watch. Here's one. Here's one. Go. Give me one. Okay. So this, I saw this happen today, and it happens to me all the fucking time. But I like watched, I like looked at the person's face when this happened to them. They is this lady was like, I was at a coffee shop, and I'm sitting there like looking around. It's like this big open floor plan. And are you listening? Hey man, are you listening? Are <laughs> you playing this, with this? There's this little dog. Spencer's got this little stuffed dog. It's so cute. God, it's so crazy how this guy is just like. If he's not talking, he's not listening. He's not even listening. He's not even making attention whatsoever. <laughs> okay, so it's <sighs> all right. We're on my Body podcast. Language. Just Welcome sh- to my podcast, you guys. Here are my guests. <sighs> they want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So one of your guests is going to say this. So I'm looking at this at like at the bathrooms, and this lady walks like out of the bathroom, and as soon as she opens the door, she pulls it too hard, and it swings so fucking fast <laughs> open, and immediately her face like gets all crunched and like preparing for the loudest noise or to break the door or the wall. Yeah, and I see this like in this moment of insecurity where she whips the door open and then like just curls back to like immediately l- feels bad. Let oh. it hit the just slams on yeah. the wall, you know. And then as soon as it happens, she like looks around the room to see if anyone's looking. And I was the only one looking. <laughs> did you have like a human moment with her? No, or did you just I look immediately away go. Did you avert your gaze? I immediately oh, you avert went. my gaze, which probably made her feel more embarrassed. Definitely. Because I noticed. She, no, she noticed you noticing. She saw, they were like, I saw him like look away at the last second. Because <laughs> so you always, you can always see someone do that. Like turn away when fast. you do it you think you're slick you're like oh they didn't see me i looked away at the last Absolutely second but then not. you see it happen you're like that person totally was looking they're at just me avoiding just eye contact me. with me now yeah i watched their eyes move away from me yeah. real yeah. fast so this i think this moment happens so often where there's like you just sometimes judge a door to be you judge doors to be all kind of the same strength to open yeah. whether you push or pull or whatever yeah. it's just like you're like it's gonna be like, generally oh, this. this is gonna be a metal door it's probably pretty heavy let me put a lot of strength into it and you're either screwed over by the door being way heavier than you thought. And you're like, ah, oh, my whole body is now in this door. <laughs> then you look like a fool because you have to like, oh, this guy can't even lift a door. <laughs> you have to reposition you have to your, your body. Feet. Into it. Yeah, you got to like <laughs> take a wide stance. And you're like, oh, this, this fucking weakling. Or you swing the door open so fucking hard that you're like, I'm going to break something. Mm-hmm. And everyone's going to know that I broke it. Yeah, put a hole in the so wall. So there's that face that you make. You're like, ah. Yeah. You're like nervous. And you like, you know. Pull back. I did think of one um, thing you could do if anybody is watching to do the, you know, the superhero look at your hands mm-hmm. when that happens. Classic. Like, that's the moment when you realize you're super strong. Me? There's strength inside me. And then. What's happening to me? And you are going to have a real human moment because that other person across is going to be, you know, your lowest lane and they're going to be like, oh my God. That's hot. I just witnessed a superhuman strength just now. So if anyone, if that happens to anybody ever, just like look at your hands immediately and just like, you know, move them up and down and just be like, was this me? Oh, Spider-Man's just a kid. We, we won't tell you secrets, Spider-Man. <laughs> He's just a kid. Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Nice. I saw that movie. I've seen it too. Answer? Um, yeah, no, I, I, I've seen it. Doc Ock? Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Remember that guy? Anyways. Yeah. The, the guy with the legs. I had a lot of passion. Arms? Yeah. They're arms. They're legs. He They're walks with most them. Most definitely he arms. He walks with yeah, them. But They're legs. An Wait, octopus pers- has eight arms. Legs. Not legs. 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 They have pinchers. They have a. Uh, they have eyes. They have a. Uh, do your legs have eyes? They have a uh, seven my legs arms do. and one penis. Wait. Is it legs or is there it is eyes? a little robot penis or that comes out or, of him, right? Like, is it really? Well, he, he's always got little devices that come out of him. Oh, that's he's true. like gonna like stab Mary Jane. His little no, 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 robot no, no, like, penis. <laughs> on the real though, it's in the a script. Real a robot penis has comes out of legs his or has arms. He has four extra arms. No, I'm not talking about a, the, no, no. this fake stupid. He's talking about real octopi. Hollywood octopi. Octopus. I'm I think about they're called real octopus. life octopus. Yeah, um, octopi. They're arms. They have eight. Arms. Legs. I don't know. I and feel like legs. it could be legs. Did we just say limbs? Appendages? Appendages. Appendages. We I know definitely... I know for male octopuses, one of them actually is a penis. That's why I said okay. that's why I said seven arms, one penis. One's Got a it. penis? Got it. Yeah, one's a penis. Is it distinguishable from the other yeah, one? Yeah, it's a little bit shorter than all the other ones. Really? Yeah. 
Like in Finding Nemo. Like in Finding Nemo. Everyone's Ew. like, that's the penis. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my God, Disney. The octopus that inks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you made me ink. One's shorter than the other. Well, one is short. She says like, mm, this one's actually shorter than all the rest. That's the penis. <laughs> that's the penis. Yes. That and was a boy, and- octopus? Well, apparently, because one yeah. is shorter than all the rest. Oh God. And when the when oh. they have sex, the female octopus like rips it off, right? Isn't what? that a thing too? Rips never... off the penis? Yeah, you heard it here. The penis These arm. are facts. I honestly These are like, very, very accurate scientific facts. octopus facts. Don't don't fact check us. Hearing this is hearing things that like other species do during mating seasons, and it's like it makes me think just like how lucky we are. <laughs> To shave. <laughs> to just have to and shave. And to have like yeah. lube. You're like, yeah. let's, let's get a candle. Let's get a candle. <laughs> Impress me. Dude. Like yes. imagine having to like build a dance. Like, you know those tropical birds that like build a dance floor and a yes. nest and yeah. like We've all seen gather flowers. Right? Imagine if we had to do that. Like you're gather at your flowers. You're at you're at the bungalow. You're at the bar, the <laughs> establishment, not the uh, metaphor. And you have to clear you have to, like, the dance floor. Find the from shiniest. Every you have to find other. all the bottles around you and like set up a little thing at your table and be like, "Hey, make sure the light like reflects off of it like, perfectly to hit you." Yeah, well, actually, guys, put your hair up. Yeah, like did spike we, it up. Do we like, not just talk about how people around. wear light strips around their oh bodies God, when they go to the bar true. and they have just, like shiny that's mirrors? What, that's what was happening. <laughs> Where people are just we were so mating, evolution. Mating. They, those people were so desocialized that they started peacocking. Yeah, literal peacocking oh because my God. of David Attenborough and watching and watching all of yeah, those we documentaries. Yeah, we were all inside watching nature documentaries <laughs> right. for a year, and it this was like, is, "This is how I get a mate." So I need to impress a mate when I get out of this fucking hellhole. <laughs> that's so funny. And they <laughs> literally everyone's mirrors. like writing shit like as like instead of like just being mind blown, they're like, "Okay, this is it." Glisteny shirt, <laughs> and there's like a there's like a whole entire like like movie sequence where there's like a like an Eye of the Tiger like song, and they're just watching all of these documentaries, and they're like, "Yeah, okay." Oh, I do a dance move. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's and then naturally there's the like, they're at the store trying on glistening shiny shirts. Yeah. And yes. it's like, uh-uh. Tossing it out. But uh-uh. In- yeah. Instead because it's- Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> instead because it's COVID, it's just like a bunch of packages showing up at the door. Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. Have to, like, it's a fashion show for no one. Show like they're nodding to themselves. Like they yeah. like take it off and they like, sit down and then like nod, shake yeah. their head, nod, and then like go back. Or like a fashion show for your room. mom or dad. Yeah. And they're like, meh. Like when you're like six and you get new clothes for school. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I got, dad. He doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he was not around. <laughs> Uh, remember that, Anthony? Remember those dad <laughs> memories, Anthony? Oh, shit. Okay, so does anybody have a, another one? I do, Spencer, but uh, so off topic. Spencer. <laughs> I, think Spencer, I think that was Spencer's. The, oh, I went. Who what? talked about Doc Ock first? You did. <laughs> so it's, you? My, it's your turn, Anthony. <laughs> what? No. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do we say that they were arms or they were legs? What is <laughs> Oh, we're saying appendages. appendages. One's appendages. a penis. Appendages and a penis. Appendages and a penis, yes. For the male. I thought obviously. you just brought up robot penises for nothing. No, you did. Robot <laughs> penises? <laughs> you mean? He brought up penises when no, we were talking about we Dr. Octopus. Up, we brought up Star, or not Star, Wars, Spider-Man, and you guys were like, have you seen Spider-Man? Doc Ock? And I was like, yes, I've seen Spider-Man. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Spider-Man's a good film. It's a great film. Yeah. Cinema. Cinema. <laughs> Do you think when he lost his powers, oh, it was like a metaphor for impotence? Like he couldn't perform for Mary Jane. Therefore, he was losing his web slicking abilities. <laughs> web slinging? Oh, yeah. Don't just try to make it more crude. Web slinging. Oh, yeah. shooting webs. He yeah. couldn't shoot webs anymore. He shoot. He was shooting blank webs. <laughs> shooting just blank webs. <laughs> By the way, does he like infinitely have an, like a lot of webs or does he have yeah, it's you like know a, like if it's you like, like biological come like, too many times in a given period you're like never Gosh, i'm like i've never done that fucking, i'm running out is it like running when he's like on a he's like chasing a bad guy he's like damn we're like 15 miles into this chase i'm running well, if out of webs if we're really gonna get into it that movie version was one of the few versions of spider-man who actually shot it from his body okay, yeah. uh most uh spider-man versions and including the original uh he had little devices just oh, like in the so andrew ones. like an andrew like the, all the other spider-mans yeah. yeah toby's the only one who like just like jizzed out of his wrist wow lucky him yeah i'm so sorry to the seven thousand listeners we just <laughs> lost by him explaining 
Spider-Man. I shouldn't ask that question. That was Spider-Man. literally my fault. I knew yeah, it was you, coming you up. You came up with a, oh, you had a no. question and I had an answer. So like, I was ever more of a rhetorical, like funny question. Like, haha, 15 miles of a chasing a perp through the city. <laughs> uh, <laughs>